So I just wanted to bring this up because it was a thought that I had. I just realized that those are three different kind of colors of lights as these two. <laughs> yep. <laughs> those two lights are one color. Those three are, the, are different. Colors. They're all supposed to be daylight. Anyways, um, this is a conversation I just wanted to talk about. That's not a good sentence. A conversation <laughs> you wanted to have. Sure. That works. Um, I watched like 12 movies the other, the other two days, something like that, and at least three of them, maybe four, can't place them, um, had instances of people cheating on each other, okay. which the they were all like um, Oscar nominated movies, that okay. sort of thing, so... And I feel like most of them were trying to, like, capture a specific part of the world. Like, this is, like, um, Manchester by the Sea is, like, a sort of New York outskirts, just, like, the life of a guy there. Okay. Like, capturing this little point in time in a mm -hmm. point on the planet, just, like, what's going on there. And I feel like that's what these movies were. And I feel like... Cheating doesn't happen that much, possibly just because I haven't seen that in my life. But what's your experience with that? Like, do you know people who have cheated or have been cheated on more Plenty. than once? Plenty. Uh, mm. yeah, I know a few, I guess. Because I only I know two people in my entire life. Like that have been nobody on. that I personally know, but I remember in high school people being cheated on. Okay, which I, is high school. That's high school though, and it's not like pe married people cheating no, on each other. No, married this people. This was specifically I, married. I people. know very few married yeah. people, and none of them have cheated that I am. I am to my knowledge. I'm not going to go into any details, but I do know one person who, you know, 10 years of a relationship and three kids and then she's fucking around on a, with other dudes. Mm -hmm. Well, I know one like that as well. Um, um but, uh, yeah, no, I've, I've... Oh, I can, I can think of one, which I won't go into detail about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I, I've, which I've, is... throughout, throughout my awesome life, I've, one. I've seen it happen here and there. I mean, mm -hmm. the whole, like, my dad was married and then there was, like, a time of split up when he got together with my mom and stuff like that. I don't know what the actual timeline on any of that shit was, mm -hmm. but, like... It's almost like that kind of shit is the reason I'm even here. So, right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so it happens. Yeah. It happens. Hmm. Like, I don't know fully what all the, you know, details surrounding all that was, but it was very, um, the, the waters are very muddy at that, at that point in history, I think. Yeah. That's interesting, actually. That thought of like, well... This thing that's not so great is the reason I exist, so... I mean, I can't guarantee it's the reason I exist. Could I don't, be. you know... Well, I know, for it me... It was before my time. <laughs> for me, the reason Literally. I exist is because a 30-year-old man, uh, like, I guess, got a 16-year-old girl to fall in love with him, and then married her. Now I'm here. Your mom was 16? My mom was 16 when she married my dad. Wow. Yeah. How old was she when she gave birth? You. To me, oh, I was way was later than that. First, uh, seventeen. Dang. Yeah. My mom was thirty-six for me. Wow. My mom was twenty-one, I think, and I was attempt number three. Yeah, I was an accident. Yeah. Yeah. My mom's first was my brother, who was ninety, born in ninety-one. So my mom would have been thirty-one. It was like final hope, and then I turned out so well that they decided to have another one. <laughs> and that was my sister. And then, you know, they decided to try again. You know, I don't, not, not, not a commentary on anything. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then my brother, and then they're like, okay, we're done. Wait, your sister's older than Chuck? Yeah. I didn't know that. Right. How old is he? So he's just about to be 29, I think. Well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, and she is going to be 31. Oh, so she's just, like, just after you. No, oh, I'm about to be 33, so... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you're older than I I know, I'm <laughs> fucking old, so, you know. Wait, when's your birthday? It's in October, so I'm not, like, yeah, just about Yeah, so you're not just be, about but, I thought you were you know. October. <laughs> but, you know, still, that's that's this year. That's coming up. 
So, I don't know, I just, like, wanted to see what the, uh, how common infidelity is. Yeah. And, and I guess it seems a little bit more common than I, I, I You know what? I used to hear about it a lot, um, working at the gas station. Mm-hmm. Like, back in the day, there was a lot of, like, you know, these two people are together you know, married or not, you know, but serious in some way or another, right? Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, it all fucking goes to shit, and there's other people involved and all kinds of stuff. It was... But then again, that's a small town. It's like a melting pot for all that kind of shit, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess different cultures, different things happen. When I worked in pharmacy, there was this one old man patient who would, like, hit on me and, like, ask me to go on dates when his wife was right there because the wife didn't speak English. (laughs) And that was really... Very strange. I do have one friend working, uh, like, reception-ish at a place. Um, and it's all, like, you know, rich women talking about their affairs and shit like that that they're having. Mm-hmm. You know, all the fucking time. So there's that, too, right? Hmm. You know, it's... I think it's more the circles you roll in, you yeah. know, that it's more common or less common, right? Yeah. Well, my, my first thought like after like dwelling on these movies that mm-hmm. I saw recently I was like these people are fucking other people and I barely like anyone right <laughs> like I had to go 4,000 <laughs> miles to find someone I liked <laughs> so yeah well you have to have a certain lack of respect for the person you're with to do that I guess yeah mm-hmm. yeah and it's like I mean it's one of those things I can't even like I can't conceive of actually doing, Mm -hmm. but at the same time, you know, every once in a while, it's like, you know, see somebody, you're like, yeah, okay, you know, I mean, I wouldn't, because obviously, (laughs) but, (laughs) well, it's just like, obviously, you're allowed to be attracted to people, so it's like, you can can think someone's hot, but that doesn't mean you should, don't bang No, I'm, yeah, and I'm not going to, like, that's, (laughs) the bottom line is, I'm not going to, but... You know, under a different set of circumstances, I could see myself doing so, mm. right? Yeah. Not my current <laughs> set of circumstances, because I like my current set of circumstances. And this also comes about because of societal ethics, I guess not really ethics, moral society standards, mm-hmm. um, with, like, a polyamorous relationship, mm-hmm. all it requires is a discussion mm-hmm. yeah. and consent. Yeah. And it wouldn't even be cheating. Yeah. Right? It's cheating so. if you go behind their back. Exactly. Yeah. So. Huh. Although I'm the type of person I really couldn't go for something like that because I'm the type of person that probably really couldn't even go for a threesome. So. That's, oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, really? <laughs> the, I don't know. The, <laughs> I mean. Shut up. <laughs> not, not, not counting the new guy. He can, you know. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, no, it's like, it's one of those things that's just like, it's never been, you know, some people, they have that fantasy. I don't even have that fantasy. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, I'm, I'm good guys. I'm good. Hmm. I'm like the opposite of jealous at all. Like I've, I almost would wager a guess that I have never felt jealousy. I just don't understand jealousy. Mm-hmm. I um, get jealous. Oh, I yeah. have. I have in the past. Um. Not so much, you know, now I'm, I'm, I'm fairly secure now, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really have any need to be. Yeah. But, uh, no, in the past I have been, like, very, very jealous of Yeah, of I have too things. in the past, but not really at the present <laughs> for any reason. Interesting. I have thought, but it flew away. Oh, okay, um, fine. I was like, wait, I was waiting for the next round of questioning because I'm, I'm, you know. <laughs> I didn't even plan anything. I was just going to, like, throw that out there and see what happens. Yeah. Um, Fair enough. Just because I thought about it and I was like, yeah, well, I'm sure that can fill up a video. <laughs> yeah. So what the hell was that thought? <laughs> Any other thoughts? Um, mm-hmm. Nope. No. You know my head, it is as empty as, um, yeah. you guys are supposed <laughs> to say something there, for fuck's sake, I'm setting it up. A bag of chips ten minutes after you bought it? Sure. Good one. We'll go with that. <laughs> as empty as a two liter Coke an hour into our, uh, 
sessions. So like half full? No, no. It's, it's um Oh I know. It's empty like my wallet. There we go. Yep. Okay. Damn you plastic crack. I call that a success. Peace out. Like, comment, subscribe. Do it.